Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here with Laugh Love Shop. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. This is a lifestyle channel, so on top of beauty videos like this, I also do, say it with me, fashion videos, hauls, DIYs, home decor, all kinds of things. So I hope you click subscribe and stick around for a while. If you feel so inclined, you can hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the fun. And as always, Feel free to watch the videos that interest you and skip the ones that don't. And today I have something a little bit different from my regular Ipsy video. I also have a Birch Box box this month. And I did not subscribe to Birch Box. My sister-in-law, Millie, did. You guys have seen her on my channel before. She did. She accidentally got two. Somehow they um, messed up her order or something. I don't know. But she said, do you want one? And I was like, uh, yeah. So we're actually going to compare and contrast because both of these subscriptions are $10 each. If you want to sign up for Ipsy, my link is down below. That helps me out. That'd be fantastic. So first, let's jump into my Ipsy bag. The bag this month, so not me, guys. It's very sporty and very bright. And... I am neither of those things, but let's not judge a book by its pouch. The theme this month is called Game Face, and on the back of the card it says, I will conquer, and you can fill in the blank, which is kind of cool, very motivational. Up first is by Real Chemistry. This is their Fresh Start Foaming Cleanser. I have had a Real Chemistry product before. It was some kind of exfoliating peel thing, and I really liked it, so I'm actually really looking forward to using this. By the way, all my products this month are cruelty free, which is exciting. Next, I have this Briogeo Scalp Revival. You guys know that I have enjoyed the Briogeo products in the past, so this is kind of fun. It's actually an exfoliating shampoo, um, which I've never tried before, but that sounds pretty interesting. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out as well. Up next by Vasanti, which I have gotten a Vasanti product before. It was like a lip oil gloss thing and I really liked it. This is a Kajal waterline eyeliner in intense black. You guys, the only black eyeliner I use is liquid liner and I have been sent a zillion of these. So that's going to go straight into my Ipsy drive. I will put information on my Ipsy drive in the description box below. Two more products in here. The first is by The Balm. It's the Mary Luminizer Highlighter, which is, that's kind of exciting. I've never had a balm product before, and I don't know if I would use it as a highlighter or if I would use it as an eyeshadow because I tend to use this sort of white, bright shade as eyeshadow like this. <laughs> this was also from an Ipsy bag. It was an Urban Decay one. I forget what the name of it was, but that is a good product. So I look forward to using that one. And then the other thing I have in here is by Seraphine Botanicals. This is a long-lasting creamy lip stain. It's called Raisin and Cream. And I don't usually like these sort of crayon-shaped products because they tend to be very, very slick and they get outside my lip line, which is why I usually prefer traditional lipstick. But I really think this is a pretty color, so I might go ahead and have a go. So overall, for this month's Ipsy bag, we have four wins and a meh, and the bag is a mess, so it doesn't get an extra point, so four stars out of five. Next up, let's talk about the Birch Box, and this box is really pretty, guys, so it's already getting a point for that, but let's go ahead and dive into it. In here, I have a Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I don't know, is Stila cruelty-free? I think it is. And I've never used one of their mascaras before. The only high-end mascara that I've ever used was Tarte. I've tried a couple different Tarte mascaras. So that'll be interesting. I do need another mascara. So that came just in the nick of time. Also, I have Ico London Skinny Liquid Liner in black, which is fine because it's a liquid liner. And I do know that Ico London is cruelty-free, I do believe. Another product in here is by Bioderma. Don't know if that's cruelty free. I didn't know this was coming, so I didn't really prepare <laughs> for the Birchbox products. But this is a micellar water, which is great because I am kind of looking for something that will take mascara off more easily. I love my e.l.f. cleansing wipes, but they don't take off mascara very easily, and I feel like I'm kind of rubbing my eyes too hard with those, so maybe this will help. The next product I have is by Somebody, S-U-M, Somebody, and it's a salt scrub, a salt body scrub, and 
I like bath scrubs, so that's fine. It smells kind of vanilla-y maybe, but with a twang of something too. I don't know, I can't tell. I'm really not good at describing scents, guys. But that one is a win. Now the last two products in here are not wins for me because they're not products that I use. The first is an eyelash curler, and I already have an eyelash curler, and I don't really use it that often. I pretty much only use it if I have an eyelash that like wants to grow down. Um, I'll curl it up, but that's like two times a year that maybe I use that. And then the last product is Beauty Protector, Protect and Detangle. It's a leave-in conditioner, which I don't really need that. I don't have that problem with my hair, so that's going to go in my Ipsy Drive as well. So overall for Birchbox, I had four products I was excited about, plus this really cute box. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'll think of something. Which brings us total to five stars out of five, so I do think that Birch Box won this showdown. Now, real quick, let's talk about last month's Ipsy bag. I do love the bag from last month. I think it's very pretty and wintry. As for the products inside of it, I had two of these Pure Lease sheet masks. I've gotten these before, and I do enjoy them, and I used one of them already, but I didn't use this other one yet. Next, I had this Smashbox lipstick, which I already told you guys I'm not a red lipstick kind of person, so that's gonna go in the Ipsy Drive. I also got this Essence Mascara. This is the I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. It didn't give me extreme crazy volume. I love Essence Mascaras, but this wand is like a silicone type wand. I don't know if you can see. It's a silicone type wand as opposed to a traditional bristle wand. And I'm just not a fan of it. Usually I don't care. Either way, it works for me. But for some reason with this mascara, it just, I don't really like it. But I used it up. It wasn't terrible. So in the end, it ended up being a win. Another drugstore product that I had gotten was this NYX eyeliner in Brown Perfection. And I like it. It's okay. It'll work. I used it. I will probably continue to use it and try to use it up. It is not as creamy as my brown Koki Cosmetics eyeliner, which is from Walmart. It's another drugstore one. It's very creamy, and I've been working to use up that one, but like I said, these are okay products. They're not like blow my mind, but they're not bad, and I'll definitely use them up. And then the last product was by Seraphine Botanicals. It is their orange and cream lip polish. It's a lip scrub, but it's not scrubby enough for my lips. I need a harsher scrub for my lips when my lips are dry. This is just not that harsh. It feels nice on the lips because actually the oils in it are really hydrating. So I actually kind of wish they would have just left out the sugar and just put the oils in here because it would have made a great lip balm. As it is, it's fine. I use it, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it up or not. So overall for last month's Ipsy bag, it gets one, two, three, and a half stars, but the bag itself was really cute, so four and a half stars out of five. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that you would like to see more of this kind of video in the future. And if you guys liked this video more than like just my Ipsy bag, let me know in the comments below because I might go ahead and get a birch box. I don't know. We'll see. So leave your thoughts and opinions down below, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.